Scientists have drilled into Earth's hidden eighth continent and revealed its astonishing secrets. On a research ship in the South Pacific, scientists are drilling thousands of feet beneath the waves, and with each sample, they learn more and more about Earth's hidden eighth continent. It's a landmass that's remained a mystery for millions of years. But what secrets will Zealandia finally reveal? As any good student knows, our planet is made up of seven continents Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, South America, and Antarctica. However, back in 1995, American scientist Bruce P. Lewendyke suggested that an eighth hidden continent lies beneath the waters of the Pacific Ocean. Then, over time, the theory of Zealandia began to take shape. According to researchers, the landmass broke off from Australia some 80 million years ago. Today, moreover, it's thought that some 93% of the region is under the ocean. Some parts, such as New Zealand and New Caledonia, remain above the water, however. At almost 2 million square miles, Zealandia is approximately the same size as the Indian subcontinent. Fascinating, too, it's home to various Antarctic flora suggesting that both landmasses were once joined as part of the supercontinent known as Gondwana. Now, although it's officially recognized as a microcontinent, many now believe that Zealandia should be considered a continent in its own right. In fact, in February 2017, a team of researchers from New Zealand, Australia, and New Caledonia released a paper that laid out their support for such a claim. According to the paper, Zealandia satisfies all the necessary geographical criteria required for it to be classified as a continent. Apparently, these include the thickness of its crust, its specific geology, and how high its continental shelf is. However, not everyone agrees. Christopher Scotese, who specializes in ancient geography at Northwestern University, doesn't quite believe that Zealandia is its own continent. If it were emergent, we would readily identify it with Australia, he told National Geographic in February 2017. Much like we identify Greenland with North America and Madagascar with Africa. Yet while scientists continue to debate Zealandia's official status, there can be no doubt that we still have much to learn about this fascinating lost land. So much in fact that an international team of investigators from the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program IODP, decided to launch a groundbreaking survey of the controversial continent. Then, on September 27, 2017, the researchers announced the results of their expedition. For two months, the team had traveled the Pacific Ocean on board Joyd's Resolution, a drilling ship operated by the IODP, and over the course of the study, they visited six separate sites across Zealandia. While at each site, researchers drilled down into the seabed to collect samples from the continent's crust. At points, they had to descend through almost 16,000 feet of ocean to reach the bottom. Then, once there, they continued to drill to a depth of some 8,200 feet. From the drill sites, researchers were able to recover sediment cores that revealed some fascinating insights into the history of Zealandia. In fact, a staggering 8,000 fossil specimens from hundreds of different species were recorded over the course of the expedition. Interestingly, these findings seem to suggest that Zealandia was once a very different place. The discovery of microscopic shells of organisms that lived in warm shallow seas and spores and pollen from land plants reveal that the geography and climate of Zealandia was dramatically different in the past. Expedition co-chief Gerald Dickens from Texas Rice University was widely quoted as explaining. In fact, the team's research suggests that Zealandia has undergone many changes over the years, both in terms of what it's looked like and which organisms have thrived on its land. Perhaps most significant, however, are the tectonic shifts believed to have taken place in the continent's past. The new discoveries reveal that the formation of the Pacific Ring of Fire about 40 to 50 million years ago caused dramatic changes in ocean depth, volcanic activity, and buckled up the seabed of Zealandia. Dickens continued. Interestingly, too, he went on to explain that although the continent could well have been submerged when it broke off from Australia, later events may have had an equally significant impact on the landmass. Apparently, scientists now suspect that the surface of Zealandia might have been far closer to land level than was previously believed, and if this is the case, it could transform our understanding of how different life evolved throughout the region. The research has big implications for understanding 
big scientific questions professor Rupert Sutherland from Victoria University in New Zealand explained such as how did plants and animals disperse and live throughout the South Pacific and in Zealandia Sutherland believes that they may finally found the answer to this question the discovery of past lands and shallow seas now provides an explanation he continued there were pathways for plants and animals to move along for the scientists on board the Joids resolution the findings have been a revelation too the cores acted as time machines for us allowing us to reach further and further into the past enthused researcher Stephen Picard on the expedition blog as one scientist put it we are rewriting the geologic and tectonic history of Zealandia at the drill site yet although researchers are excited about the findings of the expedition the project is far from over in fact the Joids resolution is set to embark on further travels collecting more data from sites around New Zealand Antarctica and Australia meanwhile it seems that the team's research may have even further reaching applications as the need for accurate computer models to predict climate change becomes ever greater records like those from the lost continent could be used to calibrate and refine emerging technology so Zealandia might continue to shape the earth for many years to come